the health department attributes the spike in COVID-19 cases to the increasing number of infections in many areas, including the northern province. Over the weekend, the DOH recorded more than 4,000 fresh COVID-19 infections. Atin pong tinitignan yung mga uh, pagtaas din ng kaso dito sa CAR. No? Nakita po natin yung sa Mountain Province and the other areas in the Cordillera Administrative Region. The head says the surge could be caused by the holiday celebrations. However, they cannot say yet for sure if it was caused by the more contagious UK variant. No new UK variant case has been reported in the latest sequencing conducted by the Philippine Genome Center. The DOH earlier admitted that the country is facing a problem in biosurveillance due to a shortage of reagents needed for the tests. For instance, the PGC was only able to process 48 samples last week, far from its capacity of 750. In response, the DOH plans to order reagents in bulk. The agency has also requested 362 million pesos in funds from the budget department for gene sequencing. Be having advanced procurement, no? so instead of just procuring two months worth of supply or three months worth of supply, we are now going to uh, procure or to have this order for about six months. Bigay na kami ng proposal sa Department of Budget and Management. And this included the one-year supply of reagents, testing kits, and other logistical requirements of the Philippine Genome Center, UPNIH, and RITM. The World Health Organization continues to remind the public to comply with minimum health standards as vaccines will soon arrive in the country. We need to continue to improve. We need to continue to emphasize the need for early detection, early isolation and quarantining, uh, ensuring that people follow the guidelines, the physical distancing, the hand hygiene, the cough etiquette, use of masks. All of that continues to be important because the vaccines is just one other tool in the whole arsenal of tools. 117,000 doses of Pfizer vaccines will arrive by either second or third week of February, while 5.5 million to 9.2 million doses from AstraZeneca will arrive by either late February or early March, which will come from the WHO's COVAX facility. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.